finally done. That's right, so I got a new carpet finally installed. Everything is finally coming together. I switched a couple things around. Man, I am just so happy. I know I sound so happy, right? I am so happy. So today, I'm going to be doing a photo shoot with an actor model named Trevor Steins. We're gonna be going to Pisco Crater to shoot some cool images. I haven't really done a photo shoot of someone other than me in a while. So this is gonna be fun because I've just been, you know, really hyped up with everything that I've been creating for myself. Today, I'm gonna be able to create some bomb stuff for someone else. And I think that the location is gonna be cool. I'm gonna bring my drone out to get some stuff happening. I even just moved things around today so I could have like a full body mirror to see what I look like when I have different outfits on. And I have this dress up. Out here, Pisco Crater. Definitely came a lot later than expected because we got lost after talking a yeah. lot. It's Trevor, say what's up. I'm Trevor, what's up? So basically we're on like a lava, ancient lava bed I think. I don't know, this is all black sand, black, red, rock, and then you see like black rock. I think it's called basalt rock, where it's all just like lava rock. We just wrapped up. This guy's a trooper dealing with the freaking heat and my crazy hair. Studio City with Joseph Pratt, the producer, model, one and the only. other things that you do. It's, well, I was working on editing the pictures that I did of him of the shoot on Saturday. Look at him. He's such a model, right? Look at here. Right. Give him a smile. There you Boom. go. I've been trying to do this cover song. This cover song in Spanish is called Por Amar Te Asi. We're gonna see if we can make that happen right now. I'm working on that. I can't go that Será como tú quieras, pero sí será. <laughs> you guys, my Spanish is of a third grade level, so me teaching anyone Spanish is just a sight to be seen. Será como tú quieras. Será como tú quieras. Será, será como tú quieras. Será como tú quieras. Será, será como tú quieras, pero así será. Será como tú quieras, sí será. Será, será, será como tú quieras, pero sí. There you go. Oh, I got it. Yeah, almost. We have to get ass, not quiero. But okay, so yeah. when we go to this Mexican restaurant, I want you to go. I think I ask you, what do you want to order? You're gonna tell them. Seda. Seda. Ba 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 ba. What's up everybody? So right now I'm going blonde. This is Carlos, say what's up. We'll see how it ends up looking like. So I'm so excited to see my cute little niece. Oh, there she is. Look at the little, look at the, oh. Don't touch me, don't, don't touch me. I don't know what to do with it yet. I haven't been, I don't, I don't even have time to style it. I don't even know what to say it. about it, honestly. It looks, I mean, it looks blonde. Tell the world about yourself. Tell them about how you copied my career and how you want to be me and everything. 
Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I'm Kyla Brown. I'm a photographer. I live in DC. We're all photographers here. What's up? Nice to meet you. How do you guys like LA so far? I love it. Pay that much. Oh, can you flush the toilet, please? Can you can you show the world? Okay, stop. Now just feel it. Yep, everything except your and sound sounded like and, a country singer. And <laughs> to the left end. Yeah, feel that. Boom. I come here to make music, Hi. but bitch, when I come, we end up having a bunch of philosophical conversations. Of yeah. course. To see just like how much I've learned and just how different my mindset is from when I came in here the first time. I'm, I'm really glad that I ended up working with them. Basically right now we're working and just finishing my first track. That's just going to be like the start of just a whole new sound for me. You guys have basically just seen me focus on creating content, on developing everything on social media and, and building my audience. Music is pending. It's in the making. I've basically took a 23andMe DNA testing a couple of weeks ago. I've been waiting for the results and I haven't checked it. I wanted to kind of save it for the vlog and I wanted to kind of dig up through family history and see what the speculation is of what we are. So when people ask me, Brandon, what are you? Where are you from? I basically say, well, my mom was born in Los Angeles, but she was raised in Nicaragua. And my dad was born in Guatemala and immigrated here. However, I was told that on my dad's side, there's a lot of Italian and Spanish blood. And on my mom's side, there's a lot of Spanish and perhaps Arabic blood or some Middle Eastern blood. I don't know. It, it was just weird like for me to kind of like understand what my identity is as far as what my background was. But I've always been interested, you know, and I've always told people, well, I'm European, you know, like my blood is European because I assumed that that's why my family have a lot of light skin, light eyes. After all these years, I get to find out what exactly we are and your results are in. This is gonna be weird. What am I? Wait, what? Ancestry composition. Okay, this is, wow. This is very interesting. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. Okay, Brandon Vasquez, 47.5% European. Um, Iberian, 31.4% Iberian. Ashkenazi Jewish, 0.4% Italian. Italian? I don't have any Italian blood, 0.1%. I thought that we would have had so much Italian. Sardinian, 0.1%. Broadly Southern European. Okay. The Holy crap, that is crazy. Okay, East Asian and Native American, 44% East Asian and Native American. Native American, when it comes to Nicaragua, we are 41.9%. What? That is so crazy. What? Oh, look at this. Sub-Saharan African, 2.4%. What? What the heck? 2.4% African, you guys. I'm black. Oh my god, I always knew it. So I'm literally half European and literally half native Nicaraguan. This is so freaking trippy. I cannot believe I have no Italian blood. And I'm more Spanish than I am Native American. So, what up everybody? I'm Spanish. I'm 2.4% African. Oh my god. God, my people. Oh my lord. Do I look... Native American to you guys. Okay, so I guess this also tells you what your traits are. So, ability to match musical pitch. Less likely to be able to match a musical pitch based on my traits. I'm still tripping out that I have 44% Native American because here I'm thinking, oh, there's no Native Nicaraguan. There's no Native Guatemalan. Surprise! So, I'm black. 2.4% black. Wakanda! What's up everybody, my name is Brandon Andre and I am going to ride a skateboard longboard. Is it your first time? Yep. Bro, look at me. You have some dirt on your shoulders, let me get that. Dang. Dang. Alright, so we out here shooting, right? Guy wants to make it all cute. He's like, you throw one and I throw another? You know me, I'm cute as shit. <laughs> Do you have money? I have a car. Oh, you, oh, you have a car? Oh, you such a rich man? <laughs> Oh, oh my. That's it? Yeah. How is this exciting? So we just, we just wrapped up our shoot with this fool. Howdy y'all. We're about to go eat where? Bubblegum. Bubblegum. Look at the sunset. See for the audience, yeah. see for the people. You're known as the Asian guy in my vlogs, bro. I'm with Kameo. We're gonna be doing a shoot right now in LA. We basically met through Uprising when I was working there and we just stayed in touch since then. But he's Japanese, so he's in LA and he's yeah. learning English. Oh no. Great, this is LA for you guys. Sometimes they wash your car, sometimes 
is a clown juggling <laughs> juggling things. We're out here at Griffith Observatory. Basically when I'm performing on stage and I'm doing music in Japan, how do I say thank you guys for coming? Uh, mina kite kurete arigato. Mina. Mina. Mina means like guys. Mina. Guys. Mi mina. Mina. Guys. Mina. Eh, kite kurete. Eh, ketureke. No, kite kurete. Ki. Ki. Ke ai. Ki. Kite. Kite. Kurete. Kurete. Yeah, arigato. Mi, mi ka, what is it? Mi. Mina. Mina. Kite kurete. Kite karaweke. Kite karaweke. Kite kurete. Arigato. Yeah, kite kurete. Arigato. Okay, you guys, guess I'm not going to Japan anytime soon. <laughs> so I have a specific way of bringing people out of their shell that I kind of force onto people. We're going to do that right now. Yes! Yes! Give me more. Come on now. <laughs> Amar, amarte así. Por amarte. Por amarte. No, you had. Por amarte así. Oh, that's hello. So we're just hey. wrapping up out here with Michelle. You guys might have known her for all of the American or anything that I was doing this year. Thank you for coming. Thank you. See, oh, say it again. Say it for the camera. Yo, know, this outfit right here. Don't, don't, don't what can don't I say? Hands down. Don't, what can don't, I say? Hands down. Hands down. I've been really trying, baby. Trying to hold back this feeling for so long. Ah! Let's get it on. Bro, with the lab. <laughs> what number shoot is this? Five. Four. Five. Five. Oh yeah, it's a fifth shoot that we're doing together with Justin Caton over here. This is an abandoned water park out near Barstow. Kind of snuck in, so we don't have to worry about getting kicked out. There's nobody here. Let's see what's inside here, y'all. Bunch of graffiti. Holy sh! Bunch of dead bodies. All right, so luckily I brought this hat because the wind is like a freaking crazy piece of crap right now and it's jacking up everything. We're gonna try to climb the rooftop, get a cool shot there, and then I'm gonna get my drop. Now we are looking for the rooftop and... Well, this is a good spot. That's it. How are we gonna do this? I'll help you up and I can get up on my own. People think that when you do photography, it's not a workout, but I just had to hop this freaking thing. You can see your balls. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on, bro. I'm shorter than you when I was able to do it. I know, you're fucking skinny, that's why. And that has nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'm too fat for this. You're supposed to have upper body muscle. Actually, I can't do it, I just need socks. Come on, bro. I'm not lying when I say that this guy is slow. Don't fall, bro. Pull yourself up. Wow. Are you serious? Bro, I are you kidding me right now? You're a personal trainer. Use your arms. Arm okay. strength, bro. No, just need Use your core. I just need to get my feet. Come on, bro. Use your glutes. 12 hours later. <laughs> I 
can't imagine how this guy went skydiving two times. Can you imagine how long he would have taken to jump out of the airplane? Literally chasing the sun, and he's freaking all the way as far as he can possibly be right now. God, he's so slow. And finally, guess who decides to show up? You wanna know how we actually met you guys? Key friend followed me on Instagram. I think he commented on my stuff. He had a good smile. That was during the time when I was doing my closing of the gap. I was like, this guy is really nice to So I was like, give him a nice seat. I never followed him back. I just knew who he was. He was too cool, basically. So I had a shoot with his friend. His name was Alex. He was friends with Brandon. I was like, oh shoot. Like, I wanna shoot with this guy. Yeah, he emailed me and he's like, I wanna do shoot. I charged him and then I never heard from him again. Then we ran into each other at Thought Man. We literally were walking across the room and I looked at him. He looked at me. I was like, hey, I know who you like, are. The and that was like the first time that's ever happened where like I literally saw someone from Instagram and like I immediately, I immediately knew who they were. And then he was like, this guy is so cool. I need to, I need to hang out with him. The bug. And then he was like, I want to shoot him. I want to take his picture. And I was like, all right, bro, I'll give you one opportunity to take my picture. And then he did. This guy. And he did a good job.